guys, Diana Horner here. I want to talk to you about the entertainment industry, what's legitimate and what's not legitimate to pay for. There's much confusion, many misnomers, and a lot of information that's not correct. I am going to clear that up for you today. Let's first look at what's not legitimate to pay for in the industry. You never pay an agent or manager up front for representation. They only make money if they book you on a job and you get paid. Agents get 10% of that booking. Managers usually get 15% of the booking. What's not listed here is a model agent that usually gets 20% of the booking. Casting directors never charge talent. You should never pay for an audition. Now let's look at what is legitimate to pay for. There is a myth that people, if they think you have talent, will pay for you. That never happens. That's a myth. No one pays for you for anything in the industry but you. This is your investment. The first thing it's legitimate to pay for is coaching and training. You know, LA agents actually require their talent to be in an acting class at least three times per week. Acting is something just like a sport or even dance that you can get rusty at, and you must continue honing and working on your craft. The next thing legitimate to pay for are headshots. We're talking about professional LA style headshots, not glamour shots, not portrait shots, not selfies, and also a current resume. Let's take a look at some examples of these things. I have some examples of some good headshots. These are actually some talent that are new to the industry, but they're definitely very good. So this is an example, and what makes this great, first of all, the color and the shirt is very complimentary and not distracting. We usually want to avoid any kind of prints or logos in a headshot. Plus, you can see his eyes just leap off the page, and he's got that million dollar smile. This is another great headshot of a young lady, and you can see that, again, she's smiling, and it's very appealing, and you definitely would want to meet her if you get this headshot in a casting director. This young lady is another great example, and you can see that she's wearing, again, a pastel shirt, very complimentary and not distracting. That's the most important thing. This is a fabulous headshot for a younger uh, person that she's wearing actually a denim jacket. There is a little bit of print here. So we usually want to go with a solid, but actually this is very good on her. Great smile, her eyes leap off the page. And as far as a resume goes, here's a resume sample. And usually we have a template we'd love to send you if you'd like it, but we have theater, training, special skills, awards. Now, obviously, she's relatively new to the industry. So, obviously, if you have film or television, that would go on top. The most important credits go at the top of the page and trickles down to uh, the least important things. Now, training is important, especially if you don't have a lot of credits. This is something that will help fill up your resume.